What's up guys, Awful Tutorial Man here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the updated Fallout New Vegas 4GB Address Aware Patcher. Now, I've made several tutorials on the old version that's been around for eons, but this is the new one by Roy Batty and Luthien. So anyway, um, you're going to head over to Nexus, I'll put the link in the description as always. And you can just look over here, it's really easy. So. Lots of features, it, it can rub your feet if you like, it's, it's really great. And you, you already have this if you install a game through Steam. Installation, set your file on I to read only, place the exe in your new Vegas game folder, run it. You may need to run it in admin. It'll patch the game and then launch the game normally through, say, the executable, like fallovenv.exe or Steam. And it also creates a batch file, so you can put that as a little link on your desktop to launch it quickly if you would wish to do that. Anyway, head up here, files. This is less than two megabytes, so you don't even need a Nexus Mods account, although you should have a Nexus Mods account. This website's amazing. Now, virus total says that it's just fine, which it is. Okay. And you're gonna click download manually. I have already downloaded the file. And now you're going to navigate to your downloads. So, new folder, downloads, and you'll see this. I've already extracted it. Okay, so if you have 7-zip, you can use this context menu. And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't because Windows is pretty weird. You can use extract all if you like. I prefer 7-zip. So extract files, OK. And then you'll see this. Now let me scan it real fast. If anybody's still afraid of a virus, which they really shouldn't be at this point, the file is safe. So safe there and safe here. Nothing bad about it. And just drag this to your desktop, and you will have these two little paths. There's source, which has a little script in it and stuff, a little source code. And then here is the executable. Now before you do this, you follow Roy's instructions and you're going to go over to your Fallout New Vegas documents folder. So this PC, documents, and you're going to scroll down here to where you see my games there. And then you're going to go over to Fallout NV or Fallout New Vegas. And then this INI is when you want to mess with. Fallout INI, properties, and then just make sure that this little thing is ticked here. So if it's not, just check that so it says read only. Click OK to confirm. You're done there. And then just copy this. Copy. And if you want, you can just go back to the little link whenever you like so you can check his instructions. So make sure, yeah, set your INI to, to uh, read only. Place the executable in your New Vegas game folder and run it, and then you're done. So let me navigate to my New Vegas folder. Here we can go from here. So whatever storage drive you have Steam in your games on, in this case it's E for me. E x86 Steam Steam apps common, and then you're gonna scroll down to New Vegas. And you're gonna see this crap. So, if you have the old version of the four gigabyte enabler like I do, you're gonna find all of its little files. Well, first let me paste this. It's called the Fallout NV Patcher XE. It's there, and now you're gonna to want to remove everything Fallout 4 GB EXE. This is the old version. It will no longer do anything because you have a better version. Woohoo! So the two files, if you followed that old tutorial of mine, are to put the DLL helper and the 4 gig XE in your game folder. Those are the two files. And it also made this, XEs, which is a backup of your executable, which it runs off of. Now, because we don't need this anymore, you can remove XEs, 4 GB to EXE, and the helper DLL. Delete. And this is your original executable for your game, right here. And now you're going to go over here to the Fallout NV patch. And since your Fallout INI is already set to read only, run this. 
press any key to continue. And you can see here, patching Fallout New Vegas EXE US. The executable is patched. The batch file has been created, and then you press any key, and this little program will close. Well, there you go. So, you see this? This is your unpatched executable. So this is your original game executable. Because you can see here it's older, so the 23rd of November. And this is the original executable that has been patched. And because it's named follow NV underscore unpatched, Steam won't read this by default. So if for whatever reason you don't want to have an, a large address aware version of this, then you'll just delete this and then you'll rename this to follow nv.exe. So just remove the underscore unpatched and then you're fine. And once you're done, you can delete this. You don't need it anymore. And from now on, let's say if you want to run it, you can send to desktop, create shortcut as, as usual. And you can call it Fallout New Vegas 4 gig or something. You can call it whatever you like. You can call it in purple trees. It doesn't matter. And then from now on, you'll run the game through this like the old version I have up here, but this is a cool little thing now. You don't have to, because the executable is large address aware and it's named as the original, you can use Steam to launch it. So if you go to Steam, Fallout New Vegas, you can run it from that now. You don't, you don't need this desktop shortcut anymore. So if you prefer to launch it through Steam, through your library menu, you can do that. You don't have to launch it through a shortcut Anyway, that's all. Um, big thanks to Red Baddy and Luthien for this. You can see them on the Tale of Two Wastelands Discord or the forums or just the Nexus if you like. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. I ate lots of turkey and my stomach feels like it's going to detonate. And have a Black Friday that's beneficial to your wallet. Have a good day.